We met on a subreddit called Commercials I Hate. She left a comment on a sponge advert that read, Why is the sponge kind of hot? And I, I don't know how to explain it, but my brain was just like, this person is your person. So we started talking, and we shared all the same favourite things. Videos of basset hounds running, the Dutch tulip bubble, the colour orange. I told her stuff I'd never told anyone, like, do you ever lay awake at night thinking about all the fingernail clippings in the world? And for the first time in my life, I even sexted. And I know what you're thinking, but she wasn't a catfish. My neighbour Yaz went to secondary school with her. Yeah, she's real. It was perfect. And I remember thinking, it can stay this way, as long as she never meets me in person. Because, yeah, some days I'm fine. Looking other people in the eye, smiling at babies, smiling at dogs, no problem. But other days... It's like my brain has been swapped out for a microscope. I can see everything, feel everything, and not in a good way. So, yeah, I knew if we ever met, I'd ruin it. Which was why when she texted me, I turned off my phone for a week. Hello? Are you ignoring me? Whatever. I can ignore you okay. too. Actually, are I you can't. Okay? Hope you're not if you dead. died. Well, I, I don't know what's going on. My parents are out of town tomorrow. Come over. If you want. Here's my address. Bring condoms. I thought, it's just one day. I can keep it together for just one day. See you then. Hi. 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 Damn it, I said that already. You said that already. What's that? Is that a Sauvignon Blanc? Yeah. Mixed with a bit of Coke. It's a Spanish thing. She was easily the coolest person I'd ever met. You like music? Sometimes it makes my skin feel flipped inside out. Yeah. Love it. To be honest with you, I'm not too sure what comes next. Step one, choose the right partner. Step two, uh, get affirmative consent. Yes. Yes. You? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure? Yes. Step three, avoid alcohol. Step four. It says here that we need to identify the angle of your vagina. Do you have a protractor? Like that, I think. Step five, use protection. Why'd you get flavoured ones? I did. It says daiquiri passion. Reckon it'll give me thrush. Oh, sorry. Step six, loosen your body. Step seven, gaze into each other's eyes. Step eight, create a circuit. What's a circuit? I think that's my spleen. Oh. Um. I think I'm ready.
already. Me too. I don't know why I have to have this brain. I'd prefer any other brain, or even no brain at all. Yeah, like a sea cucumber. That sounds nice. Living on the sea floor, breathing through my anus. I wouldn't even mind. It's the ears, isn't it? What? They're a strange shape. In the photos I sent you, I photoshopped them out for Ariana Grande's. Why did you do that? I googled best ears. I guess hers are highly regarded in the ear community. And I, I, I like your ears. Well, what is it then? And um, sometimes, out of nowhere, I'll um. Everything will start to feel a thousand times more intense than it actually is. Sounds, sensations, flavors smells and, and and it's hard to like do all these things that normal people do without thinking that's kind of cool no no it's not well I think it is most people they have the opposite problem they don't let themselves feel anything at all I think that's like why the Arctic's melting, the Amazon's burning. The tuna is screwed. Right? <laughs> I don't live here. What do you mean? This isn't my house. Your house sitting? No. I kind of break in. Don't worry, I do it all the time. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> I used to cat sit for them. But then the cat died three years ago and they forgot to ask for the keys back. Do you really miss the cat that much? <laughs> God, no. Shit, cat. <laughs> I just like being here. Makes me feel like I'm in an alternate reality. You know, like one with a tuner, all right.